Dwayne Ross from Servants United with daily devotions from Christ in our home. For Saturday, February 24th, our scripture is from the fourth chapter of Romans, verses 13 through 25. For the promise that he would inherit the world did not come to Abraham or to his descendants through the law, but through the righteousness of faith. If it is the adherents of the law, adherents of the law who are to be the heirs, faith is null and the promise is void. For the law brings wrath, but where there is no law, neither is there violation. For this reason it depends on faith, in order that the promise may rest on grace and be guaranteed to all as descendants, not only to the adherents of the law, but also to those who share the faith of Abraham. For he is the father of all of us, as it is written, I have made you the father of many nations. In the presence of the God in whom we, he believed, who gives life to the dead and calls into existence the things that do not exist. Hoping against hope, he believed that he would become the father of many nations, according to what was said. So numerous shall your descendants be. He did not weaken in faith when he considered his own body, which was already as good as dead, for he was about a hundred years old or when he considered the bareness of Sarah's womb. No distrust made him waver concerning the promise of God, but he knew he grew strong in his faith as he gave glory to God, being fully convinced that God was able to do what he had promised. Therefore his faith was reckoned to him as righteousness. Now the words it was reckoned to him were written not for his sake alone, but for ours also. It will be reckoned to us who believe in him who raised Jesus our Lord from the dead, who was handed over to death for our trespasses and was raised for our justification. Images. Jesus was handed over to death for our trespasses and was raised for our justification. Verse 25. Images imprint themselves on our hearts. We recall them when we hunger to feel what we need, most need. So it is that I recall a painting that hung on a long ago Sunday school room. Jesus blessing a gaggle of children. I remember because I will always be one of those little ones in need of blessing. Perhaps that is why a twisted crucifix has also engraved itself on my heart. A brown-skinned Jesus hangs heavily on the nails, scarred and lifeless, his body shredded by torture. I saw it in a Spanish cathedral and couldn't bring myself to take a picture of it. It was too brutal. But I cannot forget it every year. I find it on the internet and let it take me in. Looking at it, I see the suffering of forgotten people in places I will never be. I feel the love who embraces them all and forgives everyone, everywhere, everything. And I weep loving the one who bears suffering and shame, that I may know the great heart for whom our aching hearts long. Our prayer. Imprint your image on my heart, Lord Jesus, that nothing may erase the beauty of your love. Amen. Please join me in the Lord's Prayer. Our Father who art in heaven, Hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen.